everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Rachel I'm desperately seeking dopamine and today we're going to be discussing the Lush kitchen subscription box for June 2023 this isn't an unboxing video so if you do want to watch some unboxing videos I can recommend tricks and treats I've just seen her unboxing as well as Sarah Jameson's uh, video as well and I'm sure there's a bunch of others that I'll be uh, looking at over the next few days as well as they pop up. So yeah, check those out if you want to see some actual unboxing of the products. But I do have a rundown of the vote to discuss today. So everything that was up for vote, including the ingredients and what I think of those, as well as what actually made it through the vote and a discussion of the surprise items as well. So if you're interested to hear my thoughts on the vote and the box and the value for money and everything like that, then just keep watching. Okay, so when the vote options popped up, you could see immediately that it was more of a fruity box, which I've been um, anticipating for a while now. But it, each month before the vote comes up, I'm like, is this one going to be a fruity one? Because it's been a while. It's been a long time, I think, since we've had a proper fruity, fresh and fruity box. It's been more spicy and, and mixed smells. Um, yeah, so it looked really good, really promising. First up on my list, first that popped up for my option to swipe left or swipe right, was the Lush Lime Shower Smoothie. And it's described as a phenomenally fruity smoothie to cleanse and soften skin with coconut and almond oils, strawberry infusion, and the zesty scent of grapefruit and lime. And the ingredients are fresh butternut squash infusion, which sounds interesting, glycerin, organic extra virgin olive oil, almond oil, rapeseed oil, coconut oil, fresh lime juice, um, sodium cocoa sulfate, fresh strawberries, water, grapefruit oil, orange flower, absolute, and some other soapy sounding bits in there. So that sounds so fresh and fruity and divine. They don't actually sell any shower, sh shower smoothies. That is difficult to say. They don't sell any shower smoothies in the shop at the minute. That is a tongue twister. They used to, and I've never tried one. It's something I'm curious about. It sounds quite nice and gentle, similar to the buttercreams, but I guess a bit sort of looser and, and slippier in consistency, um, but still nice and moisturising and um, yeah, really fresh and refreshing, more of a summery type product, so perfect for this time of year. Uh, next up on my vote was Yummy 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 Shower Gel. It says, lather yourself in this yummy strawberry infusion and cold pressed passion seed oil wash for soft sweetly scented skin and the ingredients are fresh strawberry infusion argave syrup water um, some sls perfume pine sea salt and other soapy bits um, and then we've got the oils bergamot olibanum geranium oils organic balsamic vinegar sounds interesting almond oil cold pressed passion seed oil water and then some more soapy bits again so it sounds like a nice fresh sweet quite simple very sounding shower gel it sounds really pleasant more of a gentle scent than some of the other ones we've had up for vote recent months and next up we had up for vote himalayan rock salt body scrub the ingredients for this were himalayan rock salt kaolin ground white rice fresh strawberries sodium bicarb glycerin cream of tartar potassium bicarbonate Muramuru butter, fresh ginger juice, extra virgin coconut oil, strawberry extract, ginger oil, pink pepper oil, jasmine absolute, benzoin resinoid, geranium oil, ylang ylang oil, Brazilian orange oil and uh, divana oil. So all of those ingredients sound really lovely, especially like, you know, the pink pepper oil, the ginger oil, jasmine, uh, ylang ylang, orange oil, all my favourite kind of things in there, but this isn't up my street at all because it's the solid body scrub uh, format, which tends to have quite large um, salt or sugar crystals in, and I just find too scratchy for me. So even with like the Muramura butter and other things in that have that moisturising element, these kind of body scrubs aren't for me. I remember the, the pear one that we had back in November 22, um, smelt lovely, looked beautiful, but was just really scratchy when I went to use it. So yeah, not my favourite, but the ingredients do sound delicious, very um, sophisticated uh, smelling there. I 
I'd be interested to see what that smelled like for sure. Uh, but yeah, not my favourite personally. Next up, Happy Blooming Shower Jelly. It says fruity cherry infusion and revitalising coconut water cleanse skin while rich coconut cream creates a velvety soft lather. So that sounds very pleasant. In the ingredients are glycerin, cherry infusions, mesoles, propylene glycol, organic coconut water, carrageen extract, creamed coconut, perfume, almond essential oil, benzoin resinoid, uh, yang yang oil, water, uh, benzyl alcohol, coumarin, hexyl cinnamyl, colour, methyl paraben. So this obviously right up there you've got the cherry infusion and the coconut water, and the creamed coconut. You've also got the almond essential oil so I imagine Happy Blooming smells quite like a Bakewell tart if you've got that. It's like the almondy smell with the sweet cherry smell. Uh, which isn't my favourite kind of smell to be fair. I like Cherryade. Um, I really like Cherryade to drink, but any other sort of cherry type things that can be a bit sweet and a bit bit too strong with the cherry smell for me. So um, yeah, not on my street, but I know Happy Blooming Shower Jelly is quite a popular one. Uh, next up for vote was Amanda Pan Soap. It says, clean up your act with this energising citrus soap made with fresh grapefruit juice and zesty Sicilian lemon oil to get you feeling squeaky clean. So that sounds fantastic. And in this is water, rapeseed oil, coconut oil, glycerin, propylene glycol, fresh grapefruit juice, lemonine, grapefruit oil, extra virgin uh, coconut oil, I think that says, Sicilian lemon oil, let's see, cabeva oil titanium dioxide, sodium chloride, gardenia extract, citric acid and other soapy bits. Now this is a soap um, that I don't think I've come across before. It sounds really lovely with the grapefruit and the lemon oil and the litsika baby. It's obviously um, very citrusy and sharp and refreshing. Um, so that's definitely right up my street but I know there are quite a few options if you want something lemony from, from Lush at the minute. There's a couple of different soaps you can get. Um, but yeah, no, this sounds lovely. And next up, last but not least, Bomb Bomb Bath Bomb. And this is described as a citrusy sorbet scent of lime and sweet orange oils boosts your mood while fresh mango and avocado butters melt into the water for a skin softening soak. So again, I really love the sound of this one. You've got lime and sweet orange oil along with mango and avocado butters. It sounds wonderful. In this, you've got Sodium bicarbonate, citric acid, fair trade shea butter, perfume, avocado butter, mango butter, lime oil, sweet wild orange oil, gardenia extract and limonene. And I would say though that this sounds lovely, but again, you've got a couple of different citrusy options if you do want a bath bomb from Lush. Um, my personal favourite is Avo Bath. So this bomb bomb bath bomb sounds right up my street. Um, definitely something I would go for. Um, but you've got Avo Bath in the shop, so yeah. So let's go on to what was uh, actually made it into the box. Um, now I'm sure many of you will already know if you're like me and you enjoy watching all of the um, unboxings. I was uh, eagerly anticipating this one, especially because I've not got the box personally this month. Um, and the first I saw to be unboxed, um, I, I made notes from Tricks and Treats is um, Tricks and treats channel and Sarah Jameson's channel um, to be able to make this video so I knew what was in the boxes so thank you Tricks and Treats and Sarah for, for that. Um, they're really worth what checking out if you're into your Lush products though I'm sure you're already aware if you're watching this channel. Um, so I'm waffling, I do that here. Uh, so first that I saw get unboxed was Happy Blooming Shower Jelly so that's that lovely fresh fruity jiggly cherry scented um, shower jelly. Uh, after that we had the Lush Lime Smoothie. Um, so if I'd had the jelly um, in my box I would have considered giving it away. I think it depends actually what I would think of the actual smell in person. You can't know for sure can you? Um, but shower jellies you know they're a bit trickier to use as well so um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'd done with that, possibly gifted to someone. Uh, next up, like I say, was the Lush Lime Smoothie, which 
though it wouldn't be something that I would go for, it's something I'd be curious to try and the ingredients sound so creamy and citrusy and really lovely so I'd be properly chuffed if I'd got that in a box personally. Um, and that sounds really nice, that is something I would have a go at using. Like I said, it's not something I'd purchase normally because shower gel's easy, isn't it? <laughs> and I go for what's easy normally. Um, next up we had Yummy 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 Shower Gel, a 250 gram bottle of that lovely, um, very delicious strawberry creamy smell. That sounds really um, lovely and I'm so pleased for everyone who got this box that you got a big bottle of the shower gel. It sounds wonderful. I think maybe they go for the bigger shower gels when it's more of a gentle scent that more people are going to enjoy because the last big shower gel we got was the sex bomb shower gel which was a floral shower gel but quite a gentle um, scent. It's not like really in your face and I'm really enjoying using that still. I've not used that up yet and I really do enjoy sex bomb. That's my favourite shower gel that's come out of the kitchen so far that I've tried. Um, so yeah, fantastic news for everyone who's got a box. Uh, next up was the Raspberry Lime Body Lotion, which was a surprise um, item. And the ingredients for this are uh, fresh lime infusion, almond oil, cold pressed raspberry seed oil, fair trade organic cocoa butter, glycerin, stearic acid, triethanolamine, probably said that wrong, fresh raspberries, bergamot oil, Persian lime oil, and myrrh resinoid in there as well, which um, would give it a different kind of note at the end there, I think. And from what um, uh, the other ladies have said about this, it's quite a delicate smelling lotion in the tub, but then when you apply it, it's got more of a scent to it. So it does sound really quite gentle and pleasant. This isn't something that I would personally go for. Um, I don't know if any of you shop at Body Shop, but they do some fruity scented body butters and lotions and things. And I know that anything raspberry scented is a bit too sickly sweet for me personally. It sounds like Lush have got the balance right here with the lime and everything and it being quite a delicate smell. So I, I might have liked this lotion, but I've said before, I'm quite lazy. I don't apply lotion nearly as much as I should. And I do have a big tub of Karma Cream that I've bought as soon as that came back available because I love the smell of that. So I'm all set probably until that um, gets to its use by date. As, um, yeah, that's as much lotion as I use, even though I bought it immediately. Um, it's probably going to run out of life before I finish the tub because I'm, I'm not great at getting around to self-care <laughs> as far as moisturising goes. And um, last up in the box, we had the big strawberry bath melt. So this sounds wonderful. Fair trade organic cocoa butter, organic shea butter, fresh strawberries, um, alkanet extracted in almond oil, geranium oil, jasmine absolute and vanilla absolute. So that sounds really um, nice. You've got sort of the strawberry notes in there, but Right, it smells, it sounds like it smells similar to like maybe vanilla-y perfume or something, but maybe with a fresh berry note to it, um, with the jasmine and vanilla in there. Um, Alcan extracted in almond oil, uh, I think that's just for colour, I think, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and you've got geranium for like more of a floral note. So it does sound quite floral for something called Big Strawberry, but um, yeah, I do like a bath melt. Um, the last one I had was the floating Love Island one that they had out just for Valentine's Day. I don't think they've got any bath melts available in store at the minute. Um, but yeah, that sounds very pleasant as well. Um, so my thoughts on the box. Uh, happy Blooming Shower Gel. Just shower jelly, I should say. I would have um, probably given that away. Lush Lime Smoothie, I would have been happy to try. That sounds like it smells wonderful yummy 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 shower gel I'm sad I've missed out on that um, I'm very happy for everyone who's got that it sounds wonderful the body lotion that would have been gifted to someone for sure not something I need or really would want a uh, big strawberry bath melt again that's something I would use so the shower gel and the bath melt up there for me and if I had gone for this box I would have been quite disappointed to have missed out on the bath bomb and the soap but like I say, I can completely understand why they didn't make it through the voters. You do have other options in store. So um, if you were disappointed not to get the Amanda Pan soap, um, 
there's a lemon zest soap or something like that it's got mixed reviews online because it sounds like it's quite melty um, and there's quite a lot of yellow dye in there I think so I think people have had some sort of melty disasters in the bathroom with that it sounds like it's quite nice and moisturizing if you've got a soap dish and you're careful with it it does sound like it smells very very nice and there's also bohemian which is a simple classic lush classic um, lemon scented soap that's pleasant and it's the cheapest soap you can get from Lush as well so worth a try if you've not already and you're a fan of lemon scents and as I've already said Bomb Bomb Bath Bomb can't go wrong with Avo Bath Bath Bomb it's got the avocado butters and sort of a lemongrassy limey scent so not I um, can't remember the ingredients but instead of the um, lime and sweet orange you've got the um, lemongrass so similar citrusy moisturizing bath bomb for sure and if you are sad to not get anything grapefruit scented in the box um or overly grapefruit is there any grapefruit in this box and so yeah if you were looking forward to some perhaps citrusy more citrusy scents and grapefruit and things like that i can recommend trying the happy hippie shower gel if you've not already that's a lovely simple but really refreshing grapefruit scented shower gel that Lush do it's it's beautiful another classic for sure so yeah you've got some lemony options in the store um, if you've been sad to miss out on those from the vote there and finally my thoughts on the value for money for this box I think this box is fantastic value for money so I've done a little bit of research as to the um, how much this box would come to if you're buying similarly priced uh, similar items in store so looking at these shower jellies I think they've just gone up in price actually I'm pretty sure Lush must have upped their prices very recently because I'm sure they used to be six pounds um, but now they are six pound fifty for a shower gel of the smaller size in store and again if you're not a fan of happy blooming shower jelly but you would like to try a shower gel um, princess peach is still available at the minute and that is a fruity peachy scent not my favorite scent but something you might want to look into there's a conga shower jelly which i think is like that raspberry smell so if you do like more of the like sweet raspberry cells that's maybe worth looking into but my personal favorite is whoosh and that's the only shower jelly that i tend to buy unless a special one comes out you know that's seasonal that i really like the smell of i have to really like the smell to get a jelly Wush is phenomenal. If you've not tried it, highly recommend. Just a punch of citrus, I would describe it as, like really sharp and sweet and really wakes you up. It really is like a whoosh. Um, and it, it's fantastic. Um, a really nice refreshing um, jelly for summertime or just all year round if you need to wake up and refresh. Um, yeah, so that's £6.50 for a shower jelly. Um, next up, they don't have any smoothies in store, as I say. So the sim most similar item I could compare it to was Posh Chocolate Body Wash, which is like in a tub, a moisturising body wash, similar to a smoothie, but different, I guess. And that is £9 for, I think, a 100 gram tub. Um, and shower gels, they range in price, but for a 250 gram bottle, on the cheaper side would be £14 from Lush. So I think Honey Wash the Kids and Happy Hippie are around that price. Uh, so yeah, £14 for a 250 gram bottle of shower gel. Next up is the lotion. Um, so for a 100 gram tub of body lotion, I found Sympathy for Skin to compare it to. Some of them are only available in the larger tubs um, at the minute. But Sympathy for Skin, uh, you can get it in 100 gram tub and that's a nice creamy um vanilla-y gentle like banana milkshake type um lotion it's it's nice I've tried that before and I do really like it and that is 10 pounds if I've not said and last up is bath melts like I say I couldn't find any that are available at the minute apart from the tablet style bath melts which are all six pounds I did go back at my order history for floating love island and I did purchase that for five pounds however looking at the price increases across lush at the minute back when i did the order for the floating love island that's when i got karma cream and i got it for 18 pounds it's now 20 pounds so that's gone up two pounds shower jellies have gone up 50 pence so i'm guessing a bath melt 
um, probably would be about six pounds now. We'll have to see if they bring back that kind of format like Floating Island or um, Floating Love Island or the Big Strawberry into the stores to, to see if I'm right. But I reckon that would be about six pounds now. So if that's correct, the value of the June box actually comes to if you'd bought all of that in the shop I estimate to be about 45 pounds and 50 pence and the box itself was 35 pounds plus shipping if you're paying for shipping I've paid for the year anyway so I don't have to worry about that but that is a very good deal um you know that's excellent value for money I'd say with that box um you know you've got 10 pounds 50 pence more product than you've paid for essentially there um so yeah, I hope if you've got the box, you really enjoy yeah. it. If you've got the box, do let me know what your favourite items are. If you've not got the box, let me know what you're saddest to have missed out on. I'm definitely, um, I'm not too disappointed to miss out on the shower gel because I've said, I think in the previous video, I've got loads to be going on with at the minute, so I don't need more shower gel, but it would have been nice to have, obviously. And the bath melt sounds nice. So I'm not too gutted that I skipped this box. The reason I skipped this box was just because I was using the money I'd normally spend on this box to get some gifts for my daughter. Um, so I've got some nice bath bombs and bubble baths and things. So I got some other lush treats instead that, you know, sort of we're going to enjoy as a family instead. But yeah, so it's not that I didn't like the sound of this box. It sounds good, but yeah, just uh, budgeting, you know. <laughs> I'm sure you know what it's like. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Next up, I'm hoping to go over the... July vote which is super exciting Spongebob themed and uh, collaboration in the kitchen super interesting to discuss so um, yeah do subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this and um, give me a like if you've liked this video thank you so much for watching bye guys